Good morning, YouTube. I just wanted to post a, another quick feature video on the Garmin Phoenix 3 HR. Specifically this morning, I wanted to talk about uh, the, the VO2 Max feature um, on this watch. VO2 Max or maximal uh, oxygen uptake, it's one factor that can determine one's uh, capacity to perform exercise and is uh, an analog to aerobic uh, endurance. It refers to the maximum amount of oxygen that you as an athlete or individual can use during intense or maximum exercise. It's measured in milliliters of oxygen used uh, per minute per kilo of body weight. Um, this watch, uh, fitness watch, along with a couple other fitness watches, specifically the Microsoft Band 1 and Microsoft Band 2 that I'm familiar with, uh, can measure uh, VO2 max or take measurements and then approximate your VO2 max um, from those measurements is probably a more accurate way to say it. Uh, unlike the Microsoft Band 1 and 2 uh, watches, this watch will measure and report on VO2 max after about a six to eight minute bike ride or uh, run. The To measure and record and report VO2 max from a run, a uh, chest strap heart rate monitor must be worn. It doesn't have to be the HRM run uh, that is sometimes bundled with this watch. It can be any Garmin compa compatible uh, chest strap. I use a, one that's probably almost 10 years old from a Garmin um, 4Runner 305 that I got and it works works just fine. Um, to measure VO2 max for uh, for cycling on a bicycle, you require it requires a power meter paired to the watch. Uh, power meter is prohibitively expensive for me, so I'll probably never get a VO2 max uh, cycling measurement, but I do have a VO2 max run measurement from the watch. And, and it's not intuitively obvious where to find that measurement on this watch, but if you hold down the left center button, uh, which is the menu button, and you go to the setting screen, oddly enough, scroll your way down to my stats, and you have your recovery advisor, uh, VO2 max, your race predictor, lactate threshold, uh, records, various other things. Uh, for today's video, we're looking at VO2 max. We'll take a look at running, and it reports my VO2 max, my running VO2 max at 44. Uh, the first long run that I took with it, um, measured at 45. Uh, took a few days off and was kind of lazy, uh, ran again and measured at 44. When I was measuring my VO2 max uh, consistently over time and consistently working out with the Microsoft Band 1 and Microsoft Band 2, uh, those devices measured my VO2 max initially at 41 and then over a period of six to eight months of working out up to a high of 46. Um, injuries set in i wasn't able to work out as much and then when i got back to working out regularly um, it measured again at, at between 44 and 45. so this measurement after two runs is consistent with what i experienced um, um, with other devices being measured um, so i have no reason to uh, to doubt its uh, accuracy from as compared to other devices the it's not intuitively obvious where to find the VO2 max measurement on the watch. And I've also noticed that it's not obvious to find it in the phone app. In the Garmin Connect app, it's listed on an Android device under performance stats. On my Windows phone device, um, Windows um, Mobile 10 device, it's not listed at all. There is no section for performance stats. It may be that the watch is not directly paired to that phone, but I would think that I would think the measurement would be stored on the Garmin Connect website and available from, from multiple devices like all of the other measurements, but I just can't, can't speak to that at this time. I can tell you it's not available currently on my Windows 10 device. That's how you find it on the watch. That's how you measure it. You want to remember you need a chest strap and a six to eight minute run. It does say that the accuracy of the measurement will improve over time as it gathers more information about you and how you run and uh, more information becomes available for it to process the, the score. Uh, same thing for stress scores and, uh, and the other features on the watch. It gives you a reading really quickly. Uh, it does, there are disclaimers throughout the manual saying that those various readings will become more accurate um, with greater use.
Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe, uh, please do. I hope to put up one or two feature videos regarding um, this watch and other technology devices uh, weekly. Thanks.